right. Hey, guys. Ham Soto here. Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo. Uh, I'm about to do some major renovations to my ham shack and have already pretty much started. Uh, so, sold my Kenwood uh, V71A VHF UHF radio. Uh, also sold my Elecraft KX2. Uh, got some other things that are on... Uh, on the swap list um, we'll be replacing all those inside the ham shack uh, I wasn't really using the Elecraft in the ham shack but I got the IC705 and so I really wasn't using the Elecraft anymore and uh, instead of having it as redundant and just sitting there uh, I went ahead and uh, and uh, put it up for sale uh, gonna change out all of my coax in the ham shack as well as uh, uh, redo some antennas and so forth uh, this one right here I don't know if you can see this is the uh, MFJ discone antenna and I want to say it's MFJ 1868 don't quote me on that I'll put the number in the video but this discone antenna here uh, which is uh, supposed to be uh, multi-band goes all the way up into uh, the gigahertz range uh, I'm using it right now for my uh, SDR trunking software to decode uh, P25 trunking. I'm going to put this up in the attic. So the stand is separate. So it's going to be this piece here, uh, the metal piece, and up with all of the radials and the elements. That's going to be uh, fitted onto a piece of PVC pipe. And I'm going to have that mounted up in the attic. And I'm going to be using uh, the coax that I was formerly using for my HF rig is going to be feeding this uh, in order to do my uh, trunking software on my uh, Linux computer. And so this is going to be a multi-stage uh, redo of my ham shack. Probably going to have to be more than one video. Uh, I've got some things on order, some messy and poloni cables uh, and some uh, jumpers and so forth as well as some adapters and so i'm just redoing kind of everything right now and so until a lot of that comes in uh, i'm just going to have to take this in small chunks so the first thing is going to be dismantling this discone uh getting it off the deck uh which has only been temporary for the last couple of days and then putting it up in the attic uh so i can feed that sdr trunking software so let me get to that first there it is discone antenna Pretty much at the the peak of my roof, give or take about a foot. All right, so wasn't the easiest thing. For some reason, these uh, two by fours were hard to drill into, and so it looks pretty junky the attachment point. But I have the disc cone at the highest point. This should put it about thirty five feet above the ground inside my attic and so let me see if i can turn the uh turn the camera around all right so this feed line that's going to it was the one that i had for my hf it's very small and that's what i was running my 7300 with and so again pretty junky on the trying to put the screws in couldn't get them in all the way on some of them. But this is the disc going up in the ceiling of the attic on this PVC pipe. Got the uh, the wire hooked up. Again, this is only for an SDR, so I'm not super concerned about it. Uh, going back this way, back towards the opening of the attic, you can see there's my J-pole my arrow j pole for my hf or my vhf and uh uhf and then let me get closer to my uh my hf stuff all right so here's my hf antenna this is a uh, 71 foot bullet random wire and i have it strung out through the attic you can see it actually runs along runs over there 
ends up over there. It's kind of like a big J, if you will. It's 71 feet. I have three 33 foot radials coming off. It's just speaker wire. And so having run in three different directions, this one running that way, this one running pretty much north. This one's going south. That's hooked up to this LDG remote tuner. And I'm going to replace this jumper, Messi and Poloni jumper. This coax is feeding it. That's actually for my VHF. But since I pulled out my Kenwood right now, I don't have my new Messi and Poloni cable in yet. And so I stuck it on here in the meantime. Much bigger than what I was running, which is that little one right there. So it's like much bigger in diameter between the two, almost twice the size. And so I believe this is a 8U, RG8U, and the other one's uh, 8X. And so, like I said, that's a, I guess they call it a dirty choke. So that's my VHF that's usually hooked up over here, but I don't have my radio in right now. So I repurposed the big line over here for the meantime until I get my new cabling in. So I should be able to go downstairs and turn on my 7300 and all this should work and then that new disc cone it's kind of dark is hooked up and so i'll try that and uh see if that helped uh compared to where it had been first i had that uh, disc cone in the basement area then i had it up on my deck and now it's up at the highest point of the house. So let me go downstairs and hook that up. So, so far everything looks good. Um, got the bigger cable on my 7300. And so uh, this one's now the uh, 8U, RG8U. And I've got a uh, lower noise floor. I don't have any of the uh, intermittent streaks in it uh like i would get sometimes at night and so i think it's already doing better i think swr was 1.2 uh and i think that's a 75 foot cable for some reason but uh not bad so far um this is where i used to have uh the digital watt meter and the ldg uh remote tuner for the tuner that's upstairs in the attic and so I uh, have both of those uh, now in a different place to make room uh, so I can have uh, this MFJ 949 with my new radio that I'm getting that's going to do my uh, VHF is going to be on the top of this. And so uh, that'll have to wait for an additional uh, video. And so I've got some more things coming in. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to have enough plugs uh, for the things that I need to power. And so I got a distribution block. It's a PowerWorks distribution block. And uh, it's four different uh, uh, little, I guess, connectors. And so you can have one that goes in and powers the other three. And so I'll use that in order to break up and, and, and have uh, some extra little ports. Because the amount of power that this draws and this draws is going to be fairly insignificant uh, compared to what the power supplies, uh, the radio, the other radio, and this will draw. And so if I can uh, send some extra things to the distribution block, that'll help out. So now as far as the SDR, I uh, got the SDR uh, trunking software running. Uh, so far, I haven't lost the signal at all. And so it's doing uh, already infinitely better than what it was doing before. And so, again, this was previously my RG8X that was running my HF stuff 
uh, it was feeding uh, my uh, 7300. And so now I've swapped that out. Uh, and so the RG8X is now running my SDR uh, trunking software. And the RG8U currently is running the IC7300. Uh, but that one will switch to the new radio when I get it. And then I've got uh, two Messi and Poloni uh, 50 foot cables coming in and a bunch of Messi and Poloni jumpers. And so we'll have to check those out uh, when those get in here. That'll be uh, probably the continuation of this uh, video. So till then, hey, I appreciate y'all uh, uh, paying attention and, and, and watching. Uh, again, this is the redo of the, uh, of the Ham Shack. And so... Uh, until then, this is going to be Ham Solo K0 FYR 73. All right, uh, second day of uh, trying to do some uh, antenna stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 8-band vertical uh, inside the attic as well. And that will run a portion of uh, the new radio I got to replace my Kenwood. And so 8-band vertical... Uh, going in the attic. Uh, didn't like the way I set up the uh, the other antenna. And so this is kind of what I contemplated with this one. All right, I have a piece of plywood. And on it is a uh, one-inch pipe fit into a one-inch base that I bolted onto this piece of plywood. That'll go between two rafter spans. And then I have the... Uh, eight man vertical stick here with a piece of PVC and it will slide right over the top. And then my coax will attach to that uh, choke that's in the barrel there. And then my uh, radial elements will come off these bottom rings. My radiator elements will come off this top ring. And then the, uh, the top of the antenna is the uh, 80, 80 meter band and of course that would be up in the attic like this and so that'll attach there with all the uh, elements coming off it so here is the uh, piece of plywood there inside the attic uh, with the pvc slid on got the radials assembled on the bottom two rings and so there's six total radials on the bottom and then there are four radiators in the middle with the uh, 80 meter one coming off the very top. So the whole thing sitting in the attic in between the studs. Well, as the uh, sun sets on another video, I uh, was able to get uh, the eight band vertical antenna up in the attic. Uh, I will show you that uh, whenever I get my uh, messy and Poloni cable in and I go up there and hook everything up. Should be all I have to do is uh, hook the new radio up and uh, attach all the jumpers I bought and then the uh, cable. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, that'll be the next, uh, the next video. So until then, this is Ham Solo K0FYR73.